In this last demo, I'll demonstrate how you can accelerate and decelerate your geared stepper motor's rotational speed. We'll use the same connections as in demo 3. In the sketch, we're replacing the stepper library with Axel Stepper, which you can download and copy into your IDE's libraries folder. Excel Stepper is a significant improvement over the default Stepper library and allows you functions like acceleration and deceleration, multiple Stepper motors, greater variety of Stepper motor configurations, very low speeds, and various other programming type improvements. It's got great documentation as well. In this last demo, I'll show you how you can have a better amount of control of your motor by using an alternative library called Excel Stepper, also a very popular library. This is its website, uh, airspace.com, and um, just looking at the documentation, you can see that uh, it, it's quite a lot of very interesting features compared to the basic Stepper library. So uh, I'm going to be showing you of how to do acceleration and deceleration of the motor, uh, but you can also have lots of um, steppers, uh, stepper motors running at the same time. And um, it also gives you the ability to not block other functions running on your Arduino while the motor is running. More about this um, a little bit later. Um, uh, Suppose different kinds of stepper motors. Um, look at the documentation here. Thing is pretty well documented. Um, that provides you different types of, um, of interfaces to the motors, so uh, uh, how many wires they have, etc. Uh, lots of different functions, so you can see for example there's a move to function, it takes in a long, it's a number that describes uh, a position that you'd like the, the motor to move to. You um, can set the speed, or the maximum speed or a rate of acceleration. Uh, you can also check to see how much further the, the motor has before it reaches the destination that you set up in the move to function, so there's distance to go. Uh, you, can, you can query this you know, to, to check if the motor has uh, reached uh, the destination that you set for it. Um, and pretty interesting uh, functionality overall. So download this uh, library, here's the link version 1.41 at the moment, so download that, extract the archive and put it in the uh, libraries folder of your Arduino installation. So I will upload it first to make sure it works and then go through the sketch together. Okay, so accelerating one direction Full revolution and now decelerating before it stops at the position where it began. Then going back the other way, it accelerates. Now it looks like it's doing uh, two full revolutions on the way back. Yep. So the first uh, turn was done in the setup function and it involved a, a single revolution and then from then onwards inside the loop we've got two revolutions each time. Okay, so how does this happen? Let's have a look. So first we include the uh, Excel stepper library we set the number of wires that this uh, motor is using, so four. We're going to use that in a minute in the constructor. And we set the pins where the motor is connected. And here is the constructor. We create a new object called stepper one, so of type axle stepper. Uh, we're telling the constructor how many wires we're using so that the, the library can determine what kind of motor we're using and then where we are connected to. In the setup function, we've got uh, we, we set the maximum speed. Again, this is a number that you can play around with. As always, determine that 1,000 is an appropriate maximum speed for my motor, 
and this is the acceleration rate so fifth is just a number that says how quickly should uh, uh, the the motor uh, uh, do its next step so 50 is just the rate of acceleration set speed uh, tells the motor what should be its first speed uh, speed when it starts moving so instead of starting at zero which I could have done I'm going to get its first speed to be 200 and then move to this position which happens to be a full revolution 48 times 64 because of the uh, the um, ratio of the gears um, so inside the setup function the motor is going to move uh, one full revolution now inside the loop, I'm constantly checking uh, how much longer um, the motor has to move until it reaches its destination. So once it does reach its destination, we're just going to tell it to move to the same position but uh, the opposite way. So minus step one dot current position. It's going to move back. So. The, the run function, this one here, is where we actually tell the stepper motor to move ahead by one step. So you can see that the, uh, the, um, the stepper dot run call is inside the loop. So we could have other things happening inside the loop, like checking out sensors and communicating with web services and things of that sort. And eventually, once all those things are done, we would ask the motor to move to its next position because the motor remembers where it needs to go and uh, how far it's gone so far and all the other parameters of its movement and then by saying run it will just move to its next uh, step its next position until it gets there so this means that uh, we can do other things uh, with our Arduino while a motor is running it's not blocking other functionality so uh, that's, uh, that's about it. At this point, you should have a good understanding of what stepper motors are, why you use them, and how to use them. As with anything, there's a lot more to learn, so I have provided some external references in the notes.